So you're making tacos to the pastor? Hey everyone, today we're making tacos a pastor. Come on, let's get started. Todo queda sabroso. So the first thing we want to do is create the al pastor marinade. And for that, we're going to be using a few different chilies. We're going to be using the ancho chili, guajillo chili, and then I have a chipotle pepper in adobo. Now I've mentioned this before, but it bears repeating. Whenever you buy dried chilies, make sure that the chilies are very pliable, like so. If they're brittle and they crack very easily, then most likely that chili is dried out and probably lost all its flavor, but it should be pliable, almost raisin-like, especially with this ancho chili. The same thing goes with the guajillo, and that's how you know that your dried chilies are really fresh and full of flavor. Okay, let's make the marinade. Okay, so now we're gonna take our ancho chilies and our guajillo chilies, and we're gonna place them in a dry pan along with chopped white onion, and we're gonna allow those chilies to toast and those onions to char. Then we're gonna add some chicken stock and we're gonna let it steep for about five minutes until they're nice and soft. Okay, I transferred the chilies and the onions into this single serve cup for my Ninja blender. And I'm going to add chipotle with a little bit of that adobo. Adding four cloves of garlic, one teaspoon cumin, one tablespoon of achiote powder. This you can find in Latin specialty stores and some grocery stores carry it. I believe Walmart does. And this is going to give our apastor marinade that bright red color, one tablespoon. We're adding about a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. This is different from regular oregano in that you have the kind of like the flowers. And what you do is you rub it between your hands to release that fragrance. And you can just smell that oregano so much more pungent. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of kosher salt and I'm adding some cane sugar. This is called piloncillo. It comes in like a cone shape um, cylinder and you just crack it and you have this pure sugar cane sugar. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon. And then finally we're adding two tablespoons of white vinegar. Now we're going to put it on the lid, lock it in place, and then blend. Now that our marinade is done, we're going to prepare our pork. Now, typically you would want to use a boneless pork shoulder, but unless you have a Hispanic market near you, that could be hard to find. But there are other cuts that you can replace it with which is a bone-in pork butt, which I got from ButcherBot. So because it's bone-in, I'm going to have to remove that bone so that we could cut nice clean slices so that we can layer it on a skewer. Let's do some butchering. Okay, so normally I would keep the fat cap on if I'm leaving it whole because that fat is going to provide so much more flavor to the pork butt. However, in this application, we're not going to need it, so I'm just going to trim off that fat cap. Okay, so now I'm gonna locate the bone, which is pretty much just this one long, narrow bone that you see here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut on the side along that bone so that I'm cutting just the bone and not necessarily the meat itself until I can remove the bone. Now all we wanna do is we're gonna cut thin slices across that pork butt so that we can layer it on our skewer. Here we have our pork meat all sliced up, nice and thin. Now we're going to marinate this with the Apastor marinade and put it in the refrigerator overnight, 24 hours or even more. Okay, so now we're going to get a dish so that we can marinate our pork. I like 
layers of flavor. So I'm gonna add some salt just so that I flavor the meat. And I'm just going to add that beautiful marinade. I'm going to be reserving some of the marinade so that once we place it on the grill, I wanna baste it with this sauce. And I'm simply just going to make sure that we get in between each slice, making sure that that sauce is coating both sides, right? You don't want not one area that doesn't have some of that beautiful apaston marinade. So now that our pork is marinated, we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap, place in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. And now it's time to place it on the spit roasting skewer plate. I got this off of Amazon for like 20 something bucks and it's a perfect vessel to skewer the meat and to keep it all nestled in one spot. But before I do that, we're adding one more flavor component that is essential for tacos a pastor and that is pineapple. I'm going to trim the pineapple and then I'm gonna use the bottom half as a base, add my slices of pork and top it with another piece of pineapple so that as it's roasting, all that flavor of that pineapple infuses into the pork. and we're just going to skewer it right over that pineapple. Make sure it's nice and flat, and then continue with your pork pieces. Now we're gonna add the top half of that pineapple, that right on top, beautiful. Check that beauty out. Oh, let's go and place this on the grill. Okay, so we're out here on the grill and I just wanna show you, I put the charcoal so that it's around the edges and not necessarily in the middle, cause that's where we're going to place our pork. Great. So now we're gonna add our beautiful pork, apastor, and we're gonna place it right in the center. I'm also making a salsa tequera, salsa verde, which is traditional in taquerias that you will frequent in Mexico, a real simple sauce. So we're just gonna char these right on the grill. And I'm just gonna place them around, as well as one jalapeno. So to go with our Al Pastor Tacos, we're gonna be serving it with two salsas, what they call salsa taqueras. We're doing a salsa roja and a salsa verde. Let's start with the salsa roja. In this salsa, we're gonna be utilizing two chilies. One is the chili arbor, and I know it doesn't look like much, but this little chili packs a whole lot of heat. We're gonna be using about 10 of these, and the other chili is what they call a chili morita. And I tell you, once you smell it, it reminds you of hickory. Wonderful smoky flavor. Now for both of these chilies, we're going to leave the seeds in. So that means it's going to be spicy. So in this pot, we're going to add some water and the chili arbo and chili morita. And we're simply going to cook that until the chilies are nice and pliable, soft enough for us to puree. The perfume from those peppers <coughs> begins to rise up. And man, <coughs> You just don't stand above it. This is what I'm telling you. Don't do like I did. <laughs> Back away. Back away. Okay, so I transferred the chilies to this cup. And I'm going to add about two Roma tomatoes, two large garlic cloves, a teaspoon of salt, and a third cup of water. Now we're going to add our top. And blend.
And there you have a quick and easy salsa roja. Okay, so we have our charred tomatillos. I'm just gonna put that in the blender cup. And then the jalapenos. I removed the seeds only because the salsa roja that we did earlier has enough heat. So I don't want additional heat, but I do want the flavor of that jalapeno. Now the only thing we're gonna add is two garlic cloves, some cilantro, a couple pinches of salt, about a tablespoon, a teaspoon worth, and then squeeze of lime juice. We're gonna use one lime here. Now I have the top, lock that into place. And then let's blend. Now I'm just gonna put this in a sauce pot and I'm going to cook it for about five to 10 minutes so that the flavors can enhance and that texture can get a little bit thicker and then we'll have a final product. Okay, our salsa verde is ready to go. As you can see, the consistency has changed and the flavors have definitely increased. Now we're just going to cool this off and then place it in a squeeze bottle. Okay, our pork al pastor is coming along beautifully. And remember, I reserve some of that al pastor marinade specifically to brush it while it's grilling. First, we'll do that pineapple. Then we'll do the pork. Beautiful. Okay, so our al pastor is done. I'm gonna heat up uh, some flour tortillas just to get them warm. And while that's warming up, I'm just gonna take some slices of that pork. And let it fall, fall on that plate. And I like the, uh, the charred end, so that's what I'm going for. Hey, get over there. All right. And we'll look at this on top. Yeah. Just like that. I'm going to take that pork, put it right on my flour tortilla. My goodness. Get a slice of that pineapple. Look at that, beautiful. Maybe another slice of that pineapple. Then I'm gonna add some onions, salsa roja, salsa verde. Oh, check that out. All right, so here we have that taco a pastor. Look at that. That beautiful marinated pork the pineapple, a little onion for crunch, the salsa verde and the salsa roja. Let's take a bite. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, don't forget to like and share and click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.